at its core, human IT is here to create equitable access for to opportunities for everyone, especially those who are left on the wrong side of the digital divide. And so for, for us, what that means is that in order for us to create digital equity, we need to ensure that everyone has access to four key digital inclusion services. We, we, we want to make sure that everyone has a good working computer in their home, has access to an affordable high-speed internet connection in their home, has access to quality digital literacy training and technical support services, because even the most techie among us struggle with our electronics sometimes. So we really want to make sure that everyone has that support uh, so that way they can stay on the right side of the digital divide. And we do all that while at the same time working with companies from all over the, the country, from Fortune 500 organizations to small and medium-sized enterprises to handle their unwanted technology or their electronic waste. So that way it stays out of landfills and we repurpose the consumer grade tech so that way we can get it into the hands of those who need it most. Um, because in today's digital age in 2024, uh, if you don't have access to those digital inclusion services, you really don't have access to information, to the right opportunities or the, the or their ability to really um, to, to hit your fullest potential in today's digital uh, society. And so we want we want to help alleviate that. First and foremost, it, when you think about the digital divide, it's basically people who have access to those digital digital inclusion services that I just alluded to versus those who do not. That's what the digital divide really is. And I like to, we like to think of the digital divide really kind of split it down the middle and bifurcate it, so to speak. So first step is get people on the right side of the digital divide. And so what does that mean? We need to ensure that everyone has a quality working computer that's personal to them. You know, I remember growing up, uh, I had access to encyclopedias, right? People don't really have that anymore, right? All information really lives online now. No one, re no one really has those encyclopedias in their closets anymore. And so we really need to make sure that everyone has a device and a high-speed internet connection, so that way they can access that information uh, for themselves and, and utilize the tool of technology to be able to hit whatever goal that they have in life. So that's step number one. Everyone needs access to, to a PC and an affordable high-speed internet connection if they need that, right? If they need that affordability piece or that support. Um, that's step one, and, and that's getting people on the right side of, of the digital divide. Step two is keeping them there. And so what does that mean? So once you have access to the tools of, 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 a, of a good working computer and high-speed internet connection, then you need to know how to use them, right? How do you incorporate those tools to be able to meet your personal goals? And that's why we have to create robust digital literacy, training uh, coursework, uh, both in-person and remote, which human IT focuses on, as well as um, technical support services. So not everything is about a learning experience. Sometimes you're just having hardware issues. <laughs> That have nothing to do with your with digital literacy. You just need uh, an IT professional or IT help desk person to help walk you through that troubleshooting or get a replacement if you need it. Um, and so that's Human IT does that technical support or help desk service for our recipients in house as well. And that's how we keep people on the right side of the digital divide because it's a huge investment ensuring that you know getting devices out and helping people with with internet access and you know it takes a whole village to get that work done and, and, and a lot of money and we need to protect that investment by ensuring that the right support infrastructure is is uh is is it coincides with that with that effort and that's what digital literacy and technical support services uh, do and why they're also important to shrinking the digital divide So we've been a partner with TD Cynics now for four years. It feels like yesterday, but time is flying, especially after the pandemic. I feel like there's been a time warp speed. You know, the speed is really, our time, time is really sped up, so to speak. And it's already been four years of, of, of partnership with TD Cynics. And I like to consider TD Cynics as, as a, what I call like a, a lighthouse supporter or a lighthouse partner. Uh, and the reason I say that is because TD Cynics is a large organization. <laughs> And when you're a large organization, you have an ability to make tremendous impact, and that's what TD Cynics is doing. Um, TD Cynics is a good, great example for us to communicate to other organizations or other people of influence of what is possible in terms of partnering with human IT at a large scale. And and what that means specifically is, yes, there are corporate sponsors, corporate sponsorships that can be had in order to support the work in general, which TD Cynics is doing a tremendous job, right? Uh, donating hundreds of thousands of dollars to help great digital equity. And we've done some tremendous work together as a result. But not only um, are monetary donations important, 
there's also an ability to uh, donate your unwanted tech and help us uh, help us support the planet by ensuring that electronic waste doesn't end up in landfills. And TD Cynics is also doing that with Human IT as well. And we've diverted hundreds of thousands of pounds uh, of technology away from landfills and help get them into the people in the hands of people who need it most. And so really kind of a 360 um, uh, support coming from, from TD Cynics, not only from, from an e-waste standpoint and a, and a corporate sponsorship standpoint, but also from a volunteerism standpoint, uh, the advocacy has been tremendous with from TD Cynics. Um, and that's what that's what makes this partnership between Human IT and TD Cynics such, such a great example of what's possible when two organizations come together to to to, uh, to create impact. Partner at the level that TD Cynics and Human IT is partnering at, great things can happen and beautiful things can happen for people and, and communities and our planet. And that's exactly what we're doing together. Uh, to get specific, over the four years of working together, we've been able to, to donate completely free of charge 145,000 laptops to uh, families in need. I mean, those are just opportunities that, that families just didn't have before because now they have the tools necessary for them to, to reach their goals. I mean, it's, it's, it's a digital age now. If you don't have the right tools, you're gonna be put at, put at a disadvantage. And Human IT and TD Cynics has ensured that 145,000 pe 145, people are not at that disadvantage. The other thing that we've done together, which I think is really great, is um, we've protected our planet by diverting over 100,000 pounds of electronic waste um, by, you know, through TD Cynics employee tech drives and ensuring that, you know, cor your corporate tech uh, gets to human IT so that way we could refurbish it and continue to make the impact that I just alluded to a second ago. But that, again, is not just impact ensuring that computers get into the hands of those who need it, but it's also ensuring that the, you know, your unwanted tech doesn't end up in our landfills and in, in, in poisons kind of our soil, our air and, and our water. So, um, you know, there's some tremendous environmental impacts we made as a result as well. And I was mentioning earlier, it's not just about getting devices, but ensuring that um, people have access to Internet. Right. And so through your corporate sponsorship with Human IT, uh, we've been, we've helped ensure that uh, 100,000 people have access to uh, high-speed internet connections at an affordable rate, as well as well as uh, being able to digitally train and provide digital literacy to up to 15,000 people. Um, so those aren't just numbers. I mean, those are some tremendous numbers, but we're talking about real lives changed, real opportunities pre presented to people who were left on the wrong side of the digital divide, all while at the same time protecting our planet from heat waves. So it's been a beautiful partnership. So we want to make it easy for organizations to do good. And uh, in, order to, in order for us to do that, we don't want anyone second guessing, well, what does human IT accept? And what type of condition does it need to be? In order for us to make it easy for you to do good, we don't want you to be thinking about that at all. So if it ever needs to be plugged in or needs a battery besides appliances, we want, we want to take that in. I don't care if it's enterprise grade equipment, consumer grade equipment or anything else in between, you know, office equipment. Uh, we will help ensure that 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 electronic waste or unwanted technology doesn't end up in a landfill. And then we'll take the consumer grade tech, you know, we'll, we'll sort that out, refurbish it, and then do the good that we want to see in the world. But the enterprise grade tech, something that maybe a family couldn't use, right, and is not here necessarily to shrink the digital divide, is still going to be repurposed, which is great for the environment. And then uh, the money that we're able to make from uh, more of the enterprise side or office grade equipment that's donated to us allows us to then help connect people to other the other digital inclusion services like internet that allows us to invest in our digital literacy capabilities that allows us to invest in more technical support and so um, you know providing digital equity and creating digital equity goes beyond just a laptop and being able to uh, receive all types of equipment helps to generate the funds to do the more holistic good in terms of when it when it comes to shrinking the digital divide. So don't overthink it. Anything with a cable doesn't matter what condition. Uh, Human IT is is here to help you uh, do good with that. The advocacy within TD Cynics at every level, right uh, from the IT department to the CSR team. It's all the way to the county department and beyond. The advocacy and the and the and the championing of for digital equity has been tremendous. Um, 
that can't be understated in terms of our gratitude for that. Because like I said, not only are we making an impact together, but it's a beacon to other organizations of what is possible when you donate your unwanted technology or create, you know, or create your own kind of corporate sponsorship um, program with us. So we can do even more good for people left on the wrong side of the digital divide. The digital divide is massive. I mean, we're talking about millions of people on the wrong side of the digital divide uh, in the United States alone. That's, we're not even talking about other continents and other areas of, of the globe. So this is a tremendous um, this is a, just a very, it, it's, it's a tremendous problem. It's a large issue that we need to focus on. And it's going to take a village. It's going to take everybody. It's going to take uh, leaders from governments, leaders from the public and private sectors, as well as community-based organizations to collaborate together to make it a, as a large of an impact as we possibly can. And it's about, it's really truly about ensuring that everyone gains access to the same starting line in life creating equitable opportunities for everybody. And that's what technology does. And I think that's what that's what TD Cynics really understands. Um, and it's it's shown at every level. So we appreciate the partnership. We appreciate, you know, the flexibility of kind of working through the process of creating digital equity together. And I just want to say thank you for that.